my loves it's monica and welcome back to my channel today i'm super excited because i'm starting a new cozy gaming slash reading vlog we're doing a little bit of both in this video very excited and i'm also really excited because today is a harry styles day harry styles is in new york city for his like residency here and i'm just so excited today is my concert and <sighs> I'm hyped. It's actually my first time tonight going to a concert alone too, which I'm a little bit nervous about. I've never done it before, but I love doing things alone. Fun fact about me, like I love going out to eat alone and just all this stuff. It's been a matter of time since I went to my first concert alone. Anyways, I'm about to go eat lunch and I thought this would be a perfect time to give a big thank you to this video sponsor, which is Factor. And I am low key obsessed with Factor. Basically, they make meal planning super easy by delivering fresh pre-made meals straight to your door. And something about me is I work from home and even when I don't work from home, honestly, like even on the weekends, um, I really struggle with making time to eat. I am definitely the kind of person that like once I am focused on a task, I cannot look up from it for anything. And it's really difficult for me to like convince myself sometimes to like step away from something I'm working on in order to like spend 30 minutes to an hour cooking. And so because of that, I definitely have a takeout problem and I've just been trying to budget more and not like order in constantly so factor has been amazing because i'm finally like consistently eating lunch which is like th like life changing for me genuinely usually i am just like super hyper focused until like 8 p.m and then i'm like why am i starving and it's not great <laughs> if you can believe it so yeah i've been really obsessed with factor because i it's just changed my life in that capacity so i was really excited to get to actually work with them because i genuinely love the service and love the food so the cool thing about factor is that their meals are pre-prepared so they're made by chefs and then you just get the meals they're never frozen so they're always like really fresh you just heat them up in the microwave or the oven in minutes and you have a yummy meal ready for you it's kind of the way that I like to think about it is it's like always having really yummy leftovers in your fridge which is just the ideal situation their menu is updated weekly so there are so many different options for you to choose from based on your own taste preferences or dietary needs so anything from like plant-based eating like vegan and vegetarian or if you want like seafood meat whatever it is they have so many options on their site and it's updated every week so there's something legitimately for everyone anyways if you want to give factor a try you can use my code monica k130 and the link down below and that will give you 130 dollars off your first six boxes which was pretty amazing but anyways as i mentioned i'm doing a little bit of a cozy reading slash gaming vlog in this video so i'm going to be reading um legends and lattes by travis baldry i feel like this book has just gotten a ton of hype in the cozy fantasy space and i have just been wanting to pretend like it's autumn <laughs> recently although the weather has finally stopped being so suffocating so feeling a little bit better about summer but still we love an autumn vibe so very excited gonna be reading this and I mentioned in my recent book haul with this with this book that it reminds me and premise so much of the game coffee talk which I haven't played but I've been meaning to for so long and I have that on my Nintendo switch I just downloaded it um, but yeah coffee talk is also set in a fantasy world where you run a cafe and I'm just really intrigued to like read legends and lattes while playing coffee talk i feel like that'll be really fun so that is my plan big day today we got some gaming some reading and some harry styles zing <laughs> so i'm eating my lunch now it is the shrimp risotto and it's so good oh my goodness i'm obsessed i love shrimp too which is a new thing i used to hate shrimp and then all of a sudden in this last year i was like i want to eat shrimp every day <laughs> but anyways I actually am waiting on an update to go through for my switch so I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I'm gonna play a little bit of coffee talk which I'm very excited for
So I just played a little bit of coffee talk to end my day before heading out for the show and it's so cute. It's definitely like if you're looking for an action-packed kind of game, not the one. Um, but if you love like just really cozy vibes and storytelling, then I think it could be a really great one to pick up. Like I, I feel like just playing it for that like first day it just made me so calm and i love like the ambiance of it there's like just really good like rain sounds and stuff and i loved like getting to hear the stories of the um, customers i just thought that was really fun so yeah if you want a very chill cozy game to play i definitely think you should check out coffee talk and i'm excited to play it throughout this vlog but I am about to head out I will do a quick outfit of the day in a second so you can see what I'm wearing to the show but I'm also definitely going to be bringing legends and lattes with me because um, I'm going a little bit early um, so I'm gonna need something to read while I wait for the show to start so here's a little outfit of the day I went very pink very Barbie core had to do the cowboy hat of course and then my new boots i'm obsessed with these now it's time to go i'm so excited for this show It was so magical. It was so perfect. I honestly, like, genuinely, it was one of the best nights of my entire life. I, yeah, <laughs> it was just so amazing. And, like, I got these tickets, and I knew that, the, like, they, they were going to be close. Like, I knew that they would be the best seats that I've ever had in the garden. Um, I had no idea. <laughs> how amazing they were gonna be and so when I walked in and I sat down I was losing my mind <laughs> it was just I was just flabbergasted um and I really lucked out because I got them last minute like I got them a couple days ago basically because there was just like one random seat that like because people always buy, you know, seats in like twos or more. So sometimes Ticketmaster will discount the tickets that are just like a one-off by themselves kind of things. So I really lucked out with, the, with that seat and it was so worth it. Best concert of my entire life, without a doubt. I've been to, you know, Harry Styles concerts before and like it doesn't matter where you sit. Like it is going to be a fun time, but like to be that close... It was just so fun. It was so cool. Yeah, I definitely cried multiple times <laughs> during the performance. Um, I loved every moment of it. I can't even, like, say if I have a favorite song that he performed. Um, I always love the energy when he does What Makes You Beautiful, just because, like, the energy in the room is just, like, wild. Oh, actually, I do know <laughs> what my favorite was. It was Matilda, but I didn't film it because I was too busy crying. <laughs> so 
yeah i i loved i loved that one that was probably my favorite of the night but just every single performance was so so good um i filmed a bunch of like little clips if you want to like actually hear and see some of it you could check out my instagram um and you'll see like my outfit post if you like scroll through that i have like videos from the performance there so you can actually see some but yeah oh my goodness <laughs> what a night what a night and then i got back around like midnight and i immediately like hopped in the shower because i was just like so sweaty from dancing all night and just my, my face felt so gross because i was so sweaty and like under my mask and all my makeup had like congealed currently also wearing some of the merch that I got. Um, I'll show that tomorrow when there's actual light, but um, I definitely got more than I intended to, which just always happens. <laughs> oh, but I did read a little bit of Legends and Lattes today, and I really enjoy it so far. I am on chapter two or three, I think, um, and it's so cute and wholesome and cozy and fun it's everything i wanted genuinely like as i'm reading it it's like i can picture this book being adapted as like a cute little um animated show or something like something like over the garden wall you know like just something really cozy and cute i could totally see it and that's as i'm reading it i'm just visualizing that and i love it so really enjoying that so far already and loving coffee talk so excited to continue with that but i do have work tomorrow so i need to head to bed so that i <laughs> am awake and ready for work so it is the next day and i am very very much still living on the high of last night's show <laughs> I just keep going and watching my videos from last night and just thinking about how amazing it was. It is a work day today so I've just been doing some work all morning and I am making myself pause so I can go eat lunch which will be a factor meal. Again, like I mentioned, I'm obsessed and I think I'm going to um, play a little bit of coffee talk maybe like do one more day of it um, while I eat lunch just because um, I feel like it'll sort of calm me down get me like to just take a breather for a minute and I'm just excited to get back into that world and like hang out with those characters again meet new characters um, it's super fun so I'm gonna do that while I eat and I think that will be nice hello so it's a little bit later i just got out of work um it's like almost six o'clock and i need to head out because i am actually heading to rf kuang's launch party launch event for the Babel book which i've been so excited for definitely one of my most anticipated books of the year so i'm heading out now to go there very intrigued i haven't been to like a book event in many a moon so yeah i think since like the winter so this will be a little treat but yeah i also was not able to pick up uh, my nintendo switch during lunch i don't know why i thought i was going to be able to do that like obviously you need like your hands to eat and also to play video games <laughs> so that was silly of me and i'll be honest i ended up eating while like checking emails and stuff so oh not the best not what i wanted to do but um <laughs> it's fine tonight after this event, I am deciding to dedicate to just chill, cozy gaming, reading time. And I'll also probably read more of um, Legends and Lattes on the train into the city. as a tool of empire. And I always pitch it as if you're a fan of Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, or Donna Tartt's The Secret History, then Babel might be the perfect book for you. And if it's not, you already paid for your ticket. <laughs> <laughs> 
hello i'm home i've already changed back into my pjs i'm wearing my t-shirt from the harry styles concert um and i just realized that i never did my little haul from the concert so i'm gonna do that but also i got my book yay babble i'm so excited i think i want to do like a dark academia reading vlog let me know if you guys would be interested in that it'd probably be this and like another dark academia book sort of like a little pre-fall treat perhaps so i think that is my plan but the event was so good it was essay chalk Raborti and rf kuang in conversation and they just talked a lot about like their writing processes and that was honestly just like really inspiring for me because i definitely have been in a little bit of like writer's block the past like couple of months so it was just really great to hear from them and hear how they deal with stuff like that and yeah it was just a really good event overall but yeah i thought i'd do a quick little haul so obviously i got the event t-shirt um i'll be honest i wasn't going to get it originally because i i didn't really love the yellow um on camera i feel like it's showing up a lot better but in person it just like kind of looks very like too light almost so kind of wish it had been like a little bit of a darker yellow but it's fine i just like i couldn't not get the event t-shirt so <laughs> here we are and then I also got the tote bag, which I use today. And it's like such a good tote bag. Like it's really, like it's really big and sturdy and like such a perfect, like big tote bag. So really big fan of that. Please excuse my mess. I am currently unpacking and packing at the same time. Um, but then I also got the Harry's house hoodie in lavender and it has the cute little house and then it has the track list from the album on the back and i was so nervous that i wouldn't be able to get this because apparently it sold out on night one and i was on twitter and just like everyone was tweeting about how like they weren't gonna get any more in and they were gonna change it to a different color and i got there on the concert day and they had literal booths devoted just to this hoodie <laughs> because i think it's like the hot commodity of our stop so i thought that was funny but yeah there were so many of the hoodie i had no reason to be afraid i will say in case any of you are going to the New York City stops, it runs small. I sized up two sizes, so, and it's still like not particularly oversized, so just a heads up. I am about to curl up in bed and do some reading. I also made a little bit of an after dinner bev. Um, I have been, so I saw this TikTok recently about how cherry juice is supposed to be good for helping you like get sleepy and i don't really know the validity of that claim but <laughs> i bought a bottle of cherry juice cherries are also my favorite fruit so i like also had this moment of like why have i never drank cherry juice i love cherries and cherry juice is delicious but it's a little bit too syrupy so i cut it with i do like half cherry juice half um sparkling water because i have like a little machine and it's so good it's like have you ever had like sparkling grape juice it's like that but cherry <laughs> and i love it it's so delicious so yeah i've been having that like every night <laughs> before i go to bed and um i honestly i can't tell you if i've noticed any improvement with my sleep i did have some like intense nightmares last night so maybe i shouldn't be drinking it but i'm gonna drink that and read some more of legends and lattes i read a bit on the train into the city and i'm still really enjoying it i'm on how far am i into it right now i am about a third of the way through it and still liking it just as much as i was i will say my one thing with it is that i definitely feel like people should go into this with like the right expectations like you're not getting this like really high fantasy experience or epic fantasy experience but it's just a lovely cute cozy wondrous story so yeah i'm gonna read a bit more of this and then head to bed
So it is the end of this reading vlog. I finally made my own little drink after <laughs> reading and playing these stories about people who run cafes. I was like, it's time for me to have my own little cafe moment. Um, I don't drink uh, caffeine. It's actually been a big struggle for me because <laughs> I love caffeine. Um, but yeah, I had to really cut back on it just because I developed a really bad intolerance to it and it was causing a heart issues love that um so yeah <laughs> i had to cut back on caffeine a lot um and one of my favorite things in the world is matcha um and i was just like one day i just like decided to google like caffeine free matcha which doesn't exist but what does exist is mulberry leaf tea which this is and it if you can't do caffeine i highly highly recommend getting mulberry leaf tea um i've heard that the type from japan specifically is the one that is like the made most similar to matcha so you're going to get that texture and everything so that's what i got i don't know if that's true that's just what the internet told me um but yeah i ordered mulberry leaf tea and i have to say like it's pretty spot on as someone who like loves matcha like it's definitely a little bit different i think it's a little bit lighter but if you're just making like a matcha latte or something it's pretty phenomenal so yeah i'm obsessed with this i honestly like the first time i had it i had a little cry because it had been so long since i had matcha and i love it so much like i just love the whole process of it you know the whole ritual last night i did end up finishing legends and lattes and i really enjoyed it I think this book should be adapted into like a cozy cartoon I just like over the garden wall basically I will say that like as a fantasy reader one of my favorite things is just like getting to know characters and getting like glimpses into their everyday life outside of like whatever the major plot of the fantasy novel is that's what this book is like you should definitely read this because like that's what this is like you're getting this look sort of like in-depth look at just like everyday people's lives in a fantasy world um and in this one they just so happen to be opening a cafe and i loved all the characters and getting to like know all the characters and like see viv like build a community around herself and like allow herself to be part of a community it's just ah, so lovely so yeah i really enjoyed it in my opinion it definitely lives up to the hype uh, so if you're looking for something like that, then this might be a good one to pick up. Um, and then, as far as coffee talk, I'm on day four or five, I think, at this point, And also really enjoying that one. Again, it is very, very, very dialogue heavy. Like, you're not really... Like, it's not like a game where you are having to battle anything or even solve any puzzles. Like, you're just making drinks and having conversations and if that sounds nice to you then i think you should play it it's just so like comforting and it's such a good like wind down game like i i just love play i've, I've loved like over the past few days like playing it right before bed or like if i play a more intense game like playing coffee talk after it's just like so chill and i will say that these both together at the same time such a vibe like 10 out of 10 would recommend if you haven't read and played these games i highly recommend reading and playing them at the same time because it was just like the ultimate like i felt like the past few days have just been like a little bit of a hug <laughs> in media form so i really enjoyed that but yeah again this is the end of the vlog so i just wanted to do a little bit of a wrap up let you know how i felt about the past couple of days um, i hope you enjoyed this one if you haven't yet please subscribe so you don't miss future cozy videos from me and you could also find me of course over on instagram and tiktok and yeah thank you all so much for watching and i hope you all have the most wonderful day bye